Hello everyone, I'm Rod Wortham and welcome to this edition of Race Face Driver Updates. We start off in the state of Florida where we find California driver Jesse Love who was at Five Flags Speedway in his number 15 Venturini Motorsports Toyota for the Arkham Menard Series East Pensacola 200 on Sunday. The race was scheduled for Saturday but was moved to Sunday due to rain but was worth the wait. Jesse started 13th and raced his way to a sixth place finish in what I think was the best ARCA race of the year. Up next for Jesse, Power Eye Midgets with Keith Coons Motorsports, October 15th at Port City Raceway and October 16th and 17th at Creek County Speedway, all in Oklahoma. I want to give a shout out to Sam Mayer for winning the race at Pensacola but also for winning the Arkham Menard Series East Championship, his second title of the year. We now head north to Wisconsin and Joe Valento, who was at La Crosse County Fairgrounds Speedway, where he was pulling double duty in both the KBR Performance Super Late Model and the Pro Truck. Let's start with the Super Late Model, where Joe qualified 11th out of 33 cars and finished in 11th place in the feature race on Thursday. On to the pro truck where he qualified P2, started eighth with the invert and brought home a fifth place finish in the Midwest Truck Series Oktoberfest A Main. Up next for Joe, pro trucks at Dell's Raceway Park on October the 24th. We now head to Chris Motorsports Park in Cordell, Georgia, where we find two of our race face drivers, Grant Thompson and Gavin Graham. Let's start with Gavin Graham, who made his return to Chris Motorsports Park for the second time this year with the Kurt Brett Motorsports in the Pro Truck Series. Gavin won his heat race, earning him front row starting position for the A Main and the young Lakeland, Florida driver led every lap, parking it in victory lane. Up next for Gavin, 417 Southern Speedway in Punta Gorda, Florida on October the 24th. Grant Thompson entered the weekend with only one thing in mind, bring home the Chris Motorsports Park Pro Truck Championship, and that's exactly what the young Mobile Alabama driver did. He finished second in his heat race, and back that up with a second place finish in the feature. This is Grant's second track championship this year in the pro truck, earning the title at Five Flag Speedway earlier as well. Let's take a minute and hear from the newly crowned track champion as he recaps the weekend. Fans, Grant Thompson here. Uh, right now I'm just walking around the pits here at Chris Motorsports Park day after the race. We're just loading up some stuff to head home, but um, just want to give you all a little post-race recap video. So, uh, started second in the heat race. Gavin Graham was on the pole, a race face teammate, and um, took the green and made a little bit of contact going off into one, and we both spun each other out. But, um, you know, it was alright. It was a little bit of a racing incident. We both made a mistake on the start, but um, we both uh, ended up wrecking going into one, but luckily Gavin was able to win the heat race, come back and won. Uh, I finished second, so Congratulations to Gavin for winning the heat race. Um, went off into the feature, had a good feeling about it. Uh, started second, went off into one, and I, I missed a shift on the start, but hey, it, it's like I said, it's another racing deal. And uh, ended up finishing second in the feature. Gavin had a good, Gavin drove a really good race. I was proud of Gavin for doing that. You know, hit all of his marks really good, didn't make a mistake, and he earned my respect last night. So uh, definitely wish we could have been there last night, but uh, I'm super excited that we won a championship. You know, second championship of the season which is amazing uh in another state at another racetrack so uh just appreciate everybody that helps out Kerbert motorsports psc brakes aero bodies uh serendipity uh krc power steering friends of jackal foundation hot live oak plant plantation.com so uh, just appreciate everybody that helps out on that number 38 rocket to make it make it as fast as it is but like i said wish we wish we could have been there last night but we won another championship, so just giving y'all a little post-race recap video about that, and I uh, hope to see y'all in Houston in a couple weeks. Thank you guys for watching. Up next for Grant, Pro Trucks at Houston Motorsports Park this Saturday. That's it for this week's Race Face Driver updates, and remember, if you have missed any of our shows, you can get caught up at Race Face TV On Demand. 
Don't forget to follow us on social media. Make sure to check out the Speed Zone Race Store for the latest in apparel from your favorite race face driver. As always, we encourage you to support local racing in your communities. We'll be back next week with more from your favorite race face drivers. So go out there, have a great race week. I'm Rod Wortham. Thanks for watching.